Hi, I'm Ed Fulbright, CPA, CGMA, PFS, a Fulbright Financial Consulting PA. We would like to welcome you to our educational briefing. The nine-year-old bull market exploded in the last 35 months from 1810 to 2901. After the run-up of more than 40%, the narrative popular in the press is that the S&P 500 is ripe for a fall and the nine-year bull market is coming to an end. Here are the facts. Since January 1957, the compound annual growth rate of owning a share of America's largest 500 publicly traded stocks was 6.9%. Stocks nearly doubled in value every decade in the last six decades. Of course, prices didn't climb 6.9% annually in the steady slope shown here. Stocks went down one year and up the next. According to modern portfolio theory, Investors get paid a 5 to 6% premium return for taking the risk of holding stocks. Investing in stocks always depends on whether you think this time in history is different from the past. Even after the cataclysm of 9-11, when it seemed like the American way of life would never be normal again, the nation recovered and the value of U.S. stocks soared higher. Unless you think civilization is about to fall off the proverbial cliff and that the next crisis will be far worse than all the crises that preceded it, try to see beyond the next bear market, correction, or major obstacle to the progress of humanity. The stock market could be on the cusp of a double-digit correction of 15%, but the forward-looking leading economic indicators are literally off the chart strong. The Atlanta Fed's real-time forecast is stronger than expected. Productivity surged last quarter. Since 2017, the Business Owner Optimism Index has shot higher month after month, and lately has hovered near the all-time record high of the past 49 years. And sales at bars and restaurants are soaring, way more than they did in the last expansion. The American people, generally, are partying. Bull markets end with bubbles, and valuations are nowhere near the exuberant levels preceding bull markets in the past. Investing for long-run returns requires seeing beyond the next correction, bear market, and other obstacles to progress. That's this week's bit of investment wisdom at a poignant moment in history. Thank you for listening. Please contact us with any questions, and also contact us if you're interested in our complimentary second opinion on your investments or to set up a meeting regarding your wealth. Don't hesitate to share this video with people who might benefit from our work. Thank you again, and have a great day.